In this lesson, we will create a three-phase power circuit. As you can see in the circuit, we have created that uh, ladder diagram in the previous lesson. But I have made some changes in this circuit. Like you can see, the color of the wires are changed, and another ladder or another rung is inserted between these uh, ladders. I want to show you that uh, how I change the color of these wires. If I click on this wire, you will see that its layer is wire. But if I click on that one, its layer is changed mean auto output 15. So actually I have created new layers for these different color wires. You can see the different color wires. So how we can use the different commands to create a wire layer uh, is uh, we already discussed that one like uh, we have to create or edit wire tab. Go there and here I have created three layers L blue, L black and L red. L for letter. So that is uh, in L black, L blue while well, that the bus bars, the buses are in L black while well, the next are in L red. So I, I want to show you uh, how I have created these uh, different layers. Let's suppose I want to enter a yellow color. Go there, enter a value. Let's suppose 12. And now I want to change the color of this. Uh, this layer is yellow. And nothing else to do. Line it, everything is fine. So click OK. Now I want to change these few wires that are in white color to yellow. What I will do, I will go to change or convert wire type. Click that one which I have created now. Click OK and select those wires that you want to change to that new layer. All these wires will be changed to new layer. Just click OK. I have selected the objects. Now click OK. You can see all the wires are now changed its layer. So in this way we can change our layer and another thing which is important to discuss here is I have created this rung in between these two rungs. Whenever we are creating a circuit for a conveyor belt, we have to take care about all the parameters like uh, you can see these sensors will activate the relay coils and these relay coils will activate switch on these contacts relay these are the relay contacts these relay contacts will um, power on the leds here we have created these two rungs like uh, whenever we enter a push button it will the motor will uh, will start uh, its motor contact will uh, start working but another thing is whenever these three relays are all right I mean its conditions are okay then this contact will operate when these three contacts operate mean all the three conditions are okay or fine then they will operate the another relay i have created another relay for safety purposes this relay will operate this contact so that contact is actually its uh, sibling so i have uh, used the same relay contact from this relay so whenever this relay coil operate it will operate this contact and whenever the um, operator push on motor coil will operate and the motor will start running all the three relays are linked in this ladder uh, control circuit so all the three relays operate then it will switch on the relay otherwise it will not operate so it will be a safety purpose uh, for safety purpose now i want to change uh, um, work some new things in ladder like i want to, if i want to insert a ladder here uh, rung here i will move here and insert anywhere in between these two rungs and uh, click OK. The extra rung will be inserted between these uh, rungs. Now if I want to insert another rung, just click in between these. You can see we can add multiple rungs in between them. But you have to take care about Synapse settings. Now another thing which I want to show you is, uh, let's suppose I want to add this wire to that wire. I want to enter that one with that wire so it is now you can see the, the, the gap between these wires so actually that wire is 
connected with Devo wire. But you can see its color is white because I started was started wiring from here to that is my final destination. And it's my initial uh, destination which is white color. Now if I want to draw a wire from here from that blue color and move towards the white color now see what will happen its color is now blue so in this way we can uh, change or we can uh, work with the different color layers now i want to trim that section you can see it's trimmed now it is attached with that wire so these are few things that are uh, sometimes you need to insert extra rungs in between these rungs so what will you do yeah uh, another thing which i want to show you is uh, let's suppose i want i have inserted this rung in between that but there was no gap between these two rungs so what i have done i have I used the scoot command and move these rungs like in that way i move these rungs from that location to move downward and just you can see the whole rung is selected in this way we can move our rungs from but uh, the option which is important to note down is con components have moved to new line references would you like to run auto retake on the components okay to retag actually it is uh, important because it's a uh, wire its reference numbers are now changed whenever we create different wire layers we use wire layer format overrides this is actually for wiring number we can give wire numbers to different wire layer in different formats for some wires we want to give some specific numbers and to other wires we give to other specific numbers so whatever what we want to do we will have to add wire layers that we want to um, give numbers to that wire layers like i want to uh, give numbers to this layer i will use the default value which is percent n and uh, let's suppose i want to start with the 101 and I have to click update that will be updated now I want to insert another bar layer like that one ly and uh, yes it's default and now I want to give another number like a10 to wire layer that is ly I will add that wire layer that there's this wire layer in the list it's now in the wire layer list I have to update now this layer update and click ok now what I want to do is pick individual wires check that box to override the wire layer format so click that that layer that wires and now click these wires that are yellow wires and click ok you can see its wire numbers are changed now 101 that is uh, out um, out layer and this is l yellow so it's uh, you can see it's uh, different different wire numbers in different formats so in this way we actually assign different wire numbers to different layers so in uh, in such a manner we can uh, we can easily divide the whole drawing in different sections and different numbering formats now if sometime uh, as you can see here below it's not connected so we have to extend the length of these bus bars so how we can increase the length of these bus bars just click on the bus bar or you can move your mouse downward you can see you haven't to enter any key right now just move your mouse here and you will see that there are two commands stretch or lengthen either you can use the stretch command but you have to take care about the snap settings and enter here you will see my bar length is now increased similarly you can move here and click on lengthen wherever you want to move your wire bus you can increase the length of your wire so it's very easy uh, another way which is uh, which i want to show you is either enter a line and uh, go to stretch wire go there you will see it's uh, now increase its length is now increased similarly let's suppose i want to enter a wire here draw a wire and now use the stretch command increase its length increase its length and you can see its length is now increased so that was actually all about our previous lecture